Hello everyone, my name is Javier Ortiz. And my name is Tiffany Hervas, and welcome to A Drink, Drink and More. More. Welcome everybody to another episode of A Drinking More. We are back with our Safkin episode, so I'm really excited to be back. Wow. Um, we'd like to introduce what we are drinking today. So we're drinking, I think it's called uh, Penfold Max wine. It's like a semi-sweet uh, wine. It's from South Australia. So we're going to give it a taste and see how semi-sweet this is. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> Not think so. For me, it's semi sweet. It's like a blackberryish cherry flavor. A little bit dark. Has it's, a solid finish. I mean, it's like smooth finish. It's hard when you first hit it. Yeah, you, it, it, it. It, it, you know, it's like one of those days. You know, sometimes hit you rough, but then it kind of goes easier on you the rest of the day. <laughs> it's true. It gives you the worst first, and then it goes easier. Can I give another try though? All right. Let's see how it smells. And don't mind the bugs. We are outside. We're enjoying the patio, the it's summer, summer vibes, season, right? Indeed. So you know, the waterfall, cheese platter. Which I'm, I'm about to take in because I'm so hungry right now. You have no idea. Stunned. It's been a long day today. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long day. But talking about a long day, we haven't filmed in a while. We've been well. <laughs> and I kept messaging you like, when are we doing this? I feel like I need to oh like. Oh my god. Get it get all out. It. Yeah. Get it all out. Get it yeah, all out. Like we need to have a venting <laughs> session. Let's Indeed. chat over wine and cheese. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I decided that from now on, you're the one who's going to be picking the words or phrases. Cool. Once again, you guys are welcome to also give us any options, any suggestions of drinks, questions, words, whatever locations. you guys. Locations. etc. So make sure you guys leave the comments and the messages. We'd love to hear from guys. Yeah. Um, but what gets through today? Well... The word of the day. I mentioned it just briefly, but I was curious on the word needy. Needy. <laughs> In any huh. form of the word. So, like, I guess it's what is needy. Neediness mean to you. Needy. What is being needy mean? For some reason, I feel like I got called that today. Really? Yeah. Like, in a, like not really, like, the actual word needy, mm -hmm. but... Okay. Like, in a sudden type of way, I think that's what that person meant. Okay. To say that I was needy. And it got me really screwed up. It really screws you up. Like, you can... You when know, somebody tries to come at you and tell you about yourself, uh -huh. like... Hold. Like, you know, like, even though, like, you know, we are, you know, we are... We have to be strong people, you know, mm -hmm. believe in ourselves and everything. But, you know what? Words can actually be psychological hurtful they can know? be really hurtful yeah like, and people know, don't even realize that one word can just really bring you to a bad place exactly and i learned that you know unfortunately in a bad way because you know i tend to speak a lot and make a lot of comments and you know i do have to watch out what i said okay. you know yeah um but the word needy yeah needy the question is what is needy mean to you i feel like that can be defined as Two different categories. Okay. Uh, Let's check. I guess there's a needy side as like it can be seen like a childish needy. Okay. Like, you know, like a, maybe like a little baby, you know, trying to be like, oh, mommy, can you help me do this? You know, but, you know, but in a way that's kind of like mm -hmm. normal because, you know, they are, you know, I, wouldn't, I don't like to say the word needy, but like, you know, they depend on someone. Mm -hmm. Right. So, of course, they're going to be asking their parents or anything like that for mm -hmm. that type of things. Okay. I hope you guys don't mind the fireworks going on. Also, post the 4th of July. <laughs> Just after. Post exactly. 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. But the second time? The as second. an adult, um, I feel like, you know, that word needy can be defined as... Um, I feel like a lot of people usually say the word needy because they are adults. Maybe to someone who they are already, like, grown up in age. And they may seem like they want something, you know? I guess that okay. can be seen as needy, as maybe somebody wanted something so badly that they're probably asking for it in a way. Okay. Um, I feel like those are, the, you know, so that's kind of like my two categories. You have like, you know, like a young age and an adult life, you know. Um, 
but in a way it can be seen bad if, as an adult because you know especially nowadays you know like for example like back in the day like you know women usually marry rich men right also because of the word need right they have they, they have a Out need. Of need for it exactly so obviously of course they're going to come to their husbands to ask for stuff first you know, ask for permission, and ask for certain situations, things, or whatever. So, I guess, you know, if you put that perspective nowadays, that can be seen as needy. I'd be like, well, you I know, like you that. can go you can go get like it yourself you now. Are. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you, well, you can get it yourself. Like, you don't need my help. Like, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. I feel like that can be seen as needy. But, I feel it can be fucked up. Or I don't even I don't even know if I'll have to even curse on this. <laughs> but you know it can. You know what? We drink it already, so I mean, there we go. We all are We're in here. it. <laughs> We're in it already. Exactly. Okay, it could be really um, messed up. How? In the way that you know, I guess some people really get confused in certain things of what we ask them for. You know what I mean? For example, if you are asking for something that you know they can help out with, or something they are. That, you know, if somebody can do something for you, and you politely ask for it, and they see some type of... You being needy that like way? Like, you being needy on a certain way. Mm. I, you know, it's like... You know, I do feel, like, lucky and comfortable with this word. Right. Because it's like... For, honestly, for me, it's a trigger. Like, I get really upset because, for me, I've always been very much an independent person... Like, very self-sufficient. I don't actually... I feel like I don't need anybody or I try not to rely on anybody. Um, so when people call me needy, I'm just like, well, first of all, I don't need you. Exactly. And I think I'm so curious about this word and people's definitions because I think also, like, Words in general, people communicate and just throw out different words and assume like you know what it means. We have the same definition. Everybody and that's had not different the definitions of a word. So it, it got me wondering like, okay, my definition of needy might be different from yours or theirs or other whatever. But thinking back about it, like maybe I am needy, and is that such a bad thing? To no, no. Yeah, and and you know what? If if I'm called that in whatever space with friends, family, partnerships, business, like whatever. Because it doesn't have to just be, like, intimate. Like, it could be family saying these things. Um, you know what? I'll own it. Maybe I am needy and maybe I do need certain things. What did I need? I called you and I was just like, when are we doing this? Because exactly. I feel like I need to chat. Let's do this. I'm needy. I don't care. But I feel like sometimes needy can be also seen like as... Um, how can I say this? Maybe people... Maybe, I guess a way for people saying the word needy because I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever have used that word anyone. Right. Um, like if I were to use it in a negative connotation and call a person needy, it would be like they're too clingy, they're too de- dependent on me, or they're too immature, asking me for everything to do or something for them. Like they're helpless and they need me to do things. Like, it's like that's needy to me. Yeah. Like I feel like you know when someone depends on you on too much, mm-hmm. relies on you too much. You know, and I feel like, you know, yeah, like, uh, if I message them or I'm sorry, if they message me and then I don't answer within the first five seconds, five minutes, they're like, um, where are you? Are you mad at me? What's happening? What's going on? Like, did I do something like, well, for me, that's not really needed. For me, that's more like obsessive, <laughs> like, you know, someone being obsessed with you. I think that goes in line with me just thinking neediness is clinginess and clinginess is just like over obsession. Yeah. obsession. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I, I I don't know what I was going to say was, I know, <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I think it flew away, the fly just walked by, and be like, right. it flew by, um, I feel like sometimes when people know what they want, mm-hmm. you know, we tend to be those type of people, you know, we want, we, you know, you know what they said, not always what you want is not what you need, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, but, you know, we need to start somewhere, right, and where... Sometimes what we want can be seen as needed by other people. Mm-hmm. In what way? For example, like, um, I'm being called, like, I'm bossy, you know? Um, not really needed, but bossy. But I feel like that can be, like, also kind of, like, relied. Like, on interchangeable? Those, uh, in a way that it's, like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, be the bossy person all the time, right? Mm-hmm. But I do also feel like somebody needs to have some type of... Order? Order or some type or put all things together, you know. And mm-hmm. I've always usually been, I'm usually that type of person. And it seems you know? like you need order in exactly. order to continue. Exactly. So I'd be like, you know, hey, can you do this or can you do that? So by me asking people to do certain things, especially sometimes at work, 
You know what I mean? Like, I work right. with a lot of people, you know, I'm not usually the person who usually has to make everything right. happen, or can I, you know, organize, plan, and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So I do have to tell people, like, how to do certain things, and all that stuff, but sometimes that makes me feel like I'm sometimes being too push, right? And maybe that sometimes can be seen as needy, like I'm trying to, like, do too many things, you right. know, but I do try to, like, you know, balance things out, mm-hmm. but I feel like I can also go along with, um, you know, personal life as well, you know? Uh, for example, like, I had trouble with you, you know what I mean? And, you know, I, you know, I'm part of the business is what I wear, right, you know? Traveling um, so, wearing. you know, when we do go out somewhere or anything, I wear a picture, a picture, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right, but I don't. I you know. I try not to be like, oh my god, I need a picture from you. Let's take a picture here, 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 there, there, this and that. You know, like, like basically spend like all day doing like a photo shoot, right, even though it's right. like whatever. You know, I feel like if I tend to do that excessively, can be seen as needy. So neediness for you would be pushiness, like being. I guess pushy? yeah. I feel like that's where. Okay. I feel like that's where it is. Kind of going back to what I said about children. Mm-hmm. You know, like a child. You know, if somebody like a child wants something, they're going to be like, oh, mommy, 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 mommy. Mm-hmm. Right? So I feel like that's, that can be seen as needy, going back, pushing. Right. I guess that can be defined as the word for me. Someone um, wanting something and being pushy about it. Yeah. This word has kind of, like, been in my mind for a couple of months just because, like, being in certain spaces, hearing about, like, relationships and people and, like, family, just, like, different conversations I've heard on the radio, you know, like, neediness, what does that really mean? Like, because you have a certain definition, pushiness, um, like that insecurity a little bit also. For me, it just seems like clinginess. And then if I really want to take a spin on it, being needy, like, I need certain things and I will demand certain things but wait. because I know my worth. That's what I need. And if that comes across as needy, <laughs> drink for that. <laughs> she goes for that. You know? Um, I feel like sometimes it can be seen like, kind of what you said. You know, some people might come, you know, may call it needy or in a way manipulated or obsessive, right. I guess. Um, I guess at the end of the day, it's just about the other person, you know? Um, like how the other person is the, dealing yeah, with sitting it, with it all is, of that. It is, you know, how, because, you know, one thing I learned, I've been learning about lately, or maybe not learning, but more like analyzing lately. Okay. It's about, you know, the sender and the receiver. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we do things <laughs> and it's like, you know, everybody's different. Right. You know, so like we may do things that in our head may not come the right way. Yeah. You know, or some, you know, or, or the same way other around, you know, as a receiver, you know, sometimes people do certain things that sometimes for us can be seen as something else. That's such a great point. Like the way we communicate. And like I was saying in the beginning, the words that we use, like our loss in translation right. between either actual language translation or literal, like, we just use different definitions for the, for the same thing. Um, going back to, um, you know, like, what, what I said earlier, like, sometimes what we want is not really what we need, but sometimes right. we want it so right. badly, it can be we seen. We confuse it. Confuse, and, you know, and people don't, like, you know, sometimes doing the right thing it just I don't know it, just, it, it really really depends on the person and you know being called needy you know what it's not bad I don't think it's that I mean right. if, as long as not something bad either like for example if you ask somebody to you know we all want to be loved we all want to be cared we all want to communicate with someone you know what I mean and if you are trying to do your best or doing those things in the, you know the most positive way and someone just goes like oh you're just too much you're just too problem that person is the wrong person mm-hmm you know what I mean? That person is the one person. No matter whether it's a lover, a friend, a family member, if you're expressing yourself, you're asking, uh, you know, you're expressing yourself, you asking a way for making yourself understand to them, and they're not really getting it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, walk away, and they can call you needy, rude, manipulated, whatever they want. But I think you bring up a good point. Like, you have to have that conversation, like, 
So these are the facts. This is what I need. This is what you need. If you can't, if we can't get on board with each other's needs at a basic level of communication, friendship, more than that, there's a door. Exactly, there's a door, and you know what? And if can I we can if we can't, like, what's that word? Compromise. Compromise. Yeah, there's a lot of confirmation. I mean, if somebody thinks you're needy, then they're not really to handle. <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially, like, kind of what I said before, it really depends on what you are being called needy for. Right, for example, right, right. You know what I mean? Obviously, if someone's paying your rent, you know, paying your car, paying all your bills, then, you know, they, you might be dragging it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. if you ask him for companionship, communication, um, just to feel love and the They just call you needy? Yeah. I don't feel like that's needy. That's just part of the package. It's like, for me, it's like being the basics of friendship. Like, of any type of what I need is somebody to be open and honest, communicate. Honestly, communication. What I need is somebody to trust. Like, I as a friend, you know? What exactly. I need is somebody to bring me up, to, and then, to and hold me when I'm down. Like, just friend. Communicate. And, you know, and there was a misunderstanding know that there are going to be times that, you know, for if you see somebody doing the most to apologize, feel sorry about something, mm -hmm. I wouldn't call that neither. I feel like that's a way of just doing the right thing. I think you're right. You know, so that's, you know, very good point, though. I like that <laughs> word. No, I'm yeah, sorry, it I was, so I, yeah, it was interesting. I did need to, like, unpack this word. Like, Needy. Am I in my head about certain Needy. things, hearing yeah. certain things? Yeah. Needy. Yeah, I mean, it's if you a know rough you word. Are, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's weird. I feel like needy is what, I don't know. It's a weird word. Someone calls you needy. Like, question that person before yeah, you question because why like, they're calling you. It's like, once you finish your needy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because like, let's talk life. about that word first and then let's back up from there. It's exactly. um, Yeah, but that word is a trigger. I don't know. For whatever reason. I'm just emotions for that. Yeah. <laughs> just for the word needy. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Hey everybody, thanks so much for taking time out, listening to us, joining in with us, dining with us. If you have any questions about what we're drinking, what we're eating, because we have a couple of different cheeses here too. Um, or any other recommendations, feedback, what you're thinking, how you're sitting with us, how we're sitting with you. Leave your comments down below. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, follow me on my social media handle on Instagram. is Tiffany Noel 10 underscore. And if you guys want to learn more about me, um, you guys can go to my, follow me on my personal Instagram account. I have it or teeth and why. Everything's going to be linked right here below us. Um, I don't want to say a book because last time I said a book. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, Where it is, you'll find us. <laughs> Indeed. So I hope you guys catch up with us um, soon too. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing a few other more shows coming up soon. So you know, thank you guys for watching, and I will we we'll catch you guys later. We'll see you so, later. Serious. Enjoy your summer. Bye. Ooh. <laughs>